Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to fix one very annoying problem. Namely, if you are playing with FPGAs and if you are using Vivado, after you start Vivado, you might see this error. Cannot locate target loader and the path is given over here. So let's learn how to solve this problem. Okay, let's first reproduce this problem. Namely, click on start and search for Vivado and in my case I will be starting Vivado 2024.1 however this problem might exist in any other previous version of Vivado and here it is cannot locate target loader okay so let's see where is this bad file so the path should be let's see again Vivado 2024.1 bin Vivado bat okay bin and should be over here. However, I don't see the file. So the issue over here is that this file is actually being blocked by your antivirus program. And that's the problem. The antivirus program blocks the file or quarantines the file. Okay, so let's learn how to fix this. In my case, I'm using Avast or Avast program. So here it is. In your case, you might be using some other program. However, the procedure should be similar. Well, to fix this problem, you need to, in the case of Avast, click here and you need to see all the files that are currently quarantined. And click here, view three secure threats. And here it is. Here it is. So Vivado wrongly recognized or actually Avast wrongly recognized Vivado as a virus. This is the issue. So let's click here and or better not click. Let's do this. Let's click here and let's click on restore and add exception. This will restore this file and it will add the exception inside of Avast such that this file is not quarantined anymore. So let's click here and restore. Okay, file successfully restored. Close this. So let's verify that the file actually exists. And here it is. By the way, let's just open this file and let's see what's happening inside. As you can see over here, this is a simple script file that's used to start Vivado. Okay, and as the final test, let's start, or better to say, let's try to start Vivado. So let's do this. And let's click here and let's see what will happen. Now we have to be patient since it will take some time to start Vivado. And here it is. It's starting. It's, it's booting up and here it is. Beautiful. We can use Vivado and we can program our FPGAs. Perfect. That's all and see you in the next video tutorial.